טוב, אז שלום לכולם, בוקר טוב. נעים מאוד, אני עדי ממיטל, נמצא איתי אלי, מנהל מיטל, וענת פלדמן. והיום אנחנו נעביר לכם יום עיון בנושא מנטימטר. יום העיון הזה הוא פותח סדרה של ימי עיון, של מפגשים, שנקראים לצנוץ טכנולוגי. בעצם כל יום עיון יתמקד בכלי אחר, כלי טכנולוגי אחר, ואיך בעצם הוא יכול לשרת אותנו למטרות הוראה, הדרכה, הערכה. אנחנו גם שלחנו לכם את זה במייל, רשימת התפוצה. יש לנו סדרה של מפגשים, מה שאתם רואים כאן זה המפגשים, המחזור הראשון של המפגשים, מפגשים של חודש פברואר, הסדרה תתקיים גם בחודש מרץ, יש לנו את מנטימטר היום, קנווה, ווקלאפ, אני ממליצה בחום להירשם לסדרה באתר שלנו, מפגשים יתקיימו באופן קבוע בימי שני בזום, כל מפגש יעסוק בכלי טכנולוגי אחר, ככה ייתן לכם זווית אחרת איך ניתן לרתום אותו לצרכי הוראה. אלי קצת יעמיק ויסביר לנו על הסדרה. בבקשה אלי. תודה עדי. וזה באמת יוזמה חדשה שלנו במיטל, כמו שאמרנו זה המפגש הראשון ולכן אנחנו למדים יותר ויותר על הנחיצות של הדברים ואיך לנסות ולשלב את זה בפעילות שלנו. Uh, הרעיון הוא לחשוף אתכם כפי שאמרנו ובסופו של דבר להגביר את השימוש בכלים הטכנולוגיים uh, בעיקר למרצים uh, ואנשים שעוסקים בהוראה ולמידה במוסדות להשכלה גבוהה וכל, uh, ויהיו פה מגוון רחב של כלים חלקם הגדול יהיה, חלקם הגדול אם לא כולם יהיו חלק מסל הטכנולוגיות שלנו זאת אומרת שאחרי שאנחנו למדים על הכלי אנחנו מכירים אותו לעומק אנחנו רואים איך לשלב אותו בכיתה נוכל גם uh, לרכוש אותו בצורה זו או אחרת uh, ברמה המוסדית, המוסדית, המחלקתית וכולי וב, והרעיון הוא, הוא גם לחשוף לחדשנות וגם לחשוף לכלים שלאט לאט אנחנו uh, נכניס יותר ויותר כאלה שמשלבים AI, כאלה שעוזרים לאינטראקציות בכיתה ולתחומים אחרים אבל הרעיון הוא שבאמת תהיה פה איזושהי במה קבועה uh, לכלים הטכנולוגיים שידעו לשלב את זה בפעילות היומית שלכם. אנחנו גם נרצה מאוד לחזק ולעודד את השילוב של case study, את הדוגמאות המוצלחות שיש במוסדות, אז אנחנו גם מזמינים אתכם לפנות אלינו, לפנות לעדי שמרכזת את הפעילות הזאת, ולמצוא יישומים, שימושים מוצלחים בכיתה, ככה שבסופו של דבר נוכל גם לראות איך מיישמים את זה בפועל, לא רק את הצד הטכנולוגי, גם את הצד הפדגוגי. ולעשות את השיתוף פעולה, אני רואה שגם ניצה איתנו כאן, אז אנחנו גם נרחיב את השיתוף פעולה הזאת בעזרת הפורום, בשיתוף הפורום לקידום ההוראה, כך שבאמת יהיה פה חיבור של פדגוגיה וטכנולוגיה בצורה הרבה יותר הדוקה ומותאמת לצרכים שלכם, וזה מפגש ראשון, אנחנו מתכננים סדרה ארוכה וטכנולוגית, ונמשיך, אז תודה לכם ושיהיה מוצלח, ועדי בבקשה. טוב, אז תודה אלי. Uh, היום אנחנו נתמקד בכלי מנטימטר uh, ונציגים של החברה, uh, חברה עולמית, uh, יסבירו לנו על הכלי וידגימו שימושים. Uh, ההרצאה תתקיים בשפה האנגלית מעתה uh, ואילך. Uh, אז uh, בבקשה, אשווין, uh, hello, uh, thank you for uh, joining us. Uh, the floor is yours, אשווין. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Um... Firstly, I want to say hello to everyone uh, from Mentimeter. Uh, there are two of us today. Uh, my name is Ashwin. I, I work with the higher education department in uh, Mentimeter. Uh, we've been talking to um, Maital for quite some time now uh, about doing this, and then uh, we are very happy to get started. With me, uh, we have uh, Marve. Marve is uh, Mentimeter's uh, trainer of the year. She's been working extensively with uh, higher education in particular. And then uh, she has like a lot of, uh, you know, insights from working with like some of the best uh, universities in the world. So she's here to say, share some of that. Um, I will leave it to Marwe. She'll be guiding you people. It, uh, the presentation is interactive. So feel free to jump in at any time. All yours, Marwe. Thank you, Ashwin. Hello, everyone. Super, super nice to be here. Ashwin mentioned a lot uh, about your organization, so I'm happy we could uh, finally meet. Before taking it longer, I will share my screen and I will really need 
for you to have your phones or another tab on your browser so that you can interact with me. So today, today is all about engagement and understanding how Mentimeter works. So that is really important if you if you join the presentation and engage with me throughout the session. Easiest way I would recommend, take your phones, open your camera and scan the QR code on the right hand side. Otherwise, of course, you can go to menti.com on any browser and then enter the code. For me to understand you made this successfully, I need you to send me the heart reaction. So please, if you are in, yes. I can already see some excitement. Perfect. One person, I think we are above 20 people. So for me, it is also important to know I have high participation already from the beginning. So this is a way for me to measure that. So now we have, yeah, uh, one quarter of the group have already joined. So let's wait for everyone else. And if you have any questions or anything, you can uh, say it out loud. Uh, and if you want me to uh, go faster or slower, it is also possible for you to share that with me. So it is going to be two-way communication today. Let's make sure that I understand my audience uh, well. Cool. 10 of you waiting for more. Okay, 11, we are getting closer. I just wanna make sure that everyone is in. Amazing, yes. As you can see, we also have some comments coming through. So this is also a good practice for you. If you wanna send any comments, thoughts that are more instant, please share that through the comments section. Otherwise, for your questions throughout the session, you can click on Q&A and then you can send me your questions. And if you wanna send the question in English or uh, in your language, it's also possible. I'm sure someone will help me out to understand the question. So feel free to send it in any language that you want and we will help each other out. Nice, I have 13 of you. I think I will just get going. And in the meantime, you can always see the instruction on top, how you can join. I already see a question. Let's see what is it about, just test. Perfect, someone have tested a question. So it's also good practice for you. You can see if you go to your Q&A button now on your uh, devices, you can see that you can like this question. So if you do that as a presenter, I will understand that this question is actually liked by other people and there's maybe a big need for me to uh, address this question. So that is also a good practice. I recommend you to keep in mind, you can upvote questions by pressing the thumbs up. Let's mark it as answered and get going. Yes, today is all about leveraging learning technologies and really with that, making sure that we have higher engagement and participation in class. A bit about the presenter of the day. I think it's a good way to introduce myself. As Ashwin mentioned, I work uh, as a customer success manager. That means that I work with our largest clients, making sure that they get the value. Uh, they need from Mentimeter and most of them are higher education um, yeah, organizations, which I'm really happy about and passionate. And of course, as we are an audience engagement platform, my role here is to give you the relevant advisory on student engagement. Thank you for the hearts and thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Keep them coming. And I am calling from the IC Stockholm, Sweden. It's minus two degrees today. I hope you are having a better weather at least. Nice. Uh, so after getting to introduce myself, I am also interested in knowing who are you? What is your profession? What is your role? As far as I know, we are expecting a mixed group today, uh, but I wanna kind of make it on the paper, make sure that I know who I am talking to today. We have one of you as a lecturer, welcome. Let's see who else we have. And as you can also see on the right hand side, I can always follow the participation rate in the in the question. So for example, today I know we have about 20 of you and right now three of you have answered. So this gives me a good indication how the participation rate is. If I should wait more, leave uh, the space for you a bit more or get going. 
And not to mention, I am sure, or I hope most of you have seen this visualization before. This is one of our uh, typical, most popular question types called word cloud, where you can get a free text and visualize it in a beautiful way. All right, as the answers are coming, I see that we have the biggest group as working as lecturers. We have some of you from the nursing school, some project managers, instructional guides, let's see innovator very nice mixed group of you today so it will be also very diverse uh answers and engagement from the audience i'm very happy about teacher education nice recreational mathematics yeah so that sounds cool <laughs> i hope uh you can share some knowledge today through the questions and i see a chat English lecturer, pedagogical coordinator. I see someone in the chat. Welcome all of you. Let's make sure that we are utilizing Mentimeter today. So this is the QR code. Once again, as a reminder, all communication should go through uh, Mentimeter today. I only have access to Menti, so let's make sure that we utilize the platform. Perfect. Thank you for sharing. Uh, then another question to get to know you a bit more. I am very curious, what is your experience with Mentimeter? As a presenter, it is a key thing for me to know uh, where my audience is, what they have experienced before, so I can adjust my communication and presenting for you all. And that is also one good practice a lot of the other lecturers are doing in their classes starting with uh, more questions to understand the group of students so that they can tailor the class to based on uh, the students' needs. I would also like everyone to mute if possible. That would make the session uh, go easier for us. So if you're by mistake unmuted, please make sure that you're muted. Thank you so much. Okay, we have a lot of chat going on. Once again, please make sure you're utilizing Mentimeter. It is fun, I promise. Cool, we have most of you, you have presented with Mentimeter before. This is great. It looks like you already have some experience. One person is using another tool. So we have the comments section. I would appreciate if you can send me a comment what other tool you're using. I'm just interested in hearing if it's very similar or not. So click on send a comment. Let me know what the name of the tool is. Cool. We have a quite good distribution. Most of you have presented and one of you have never seen Menti before. Oh, OK, we have the Kahoot user. Welcome, everyone. Kaboom. That is also <laughs> that also works. I guess it's a new tool. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Thanks for sharing. Let's move on or i want to see how many we are in the call actually okay we are 24 of you so maybe i'll just make sure if we have new joiners before i move on please make sure you're connected and you are engaging with me so 10 of you i haven't heard from so i want to make sure that these results are representing almost the full class not only the loudest voices in a in a typical class right let's make sure Okay, as the answers are coming more, I see that we have actually more people who have never seen Menti before. I hope it will be a good uh, example for you today. Okay, 17 results are coming in. Nice, maybe since we have a lot of people who use Menti before, it will also be good for you to share your experiences through answering me or maybe sharing your comments on the Q&A button, we really appreciate that. You're the experts in teaching and we wanna hear more from you. All right, let's move on then. Uh, thank you for letting me know about yourself. Coming back to the agenda, uh, what you should expect from today. Uh, you should expect that you will get a good introduction to Mentimeter and learn about the best practices. And then we will share some strategies for engaging students. I brought examples from other universities that I'm working with, the best examples. So I hope you will find them relevant. And once again, Q&A will be open throughout the session. Please send your questions and I will address them during this session. If you agree with this plan, send me a heart reaction. So I know you're here with me, you agree. And if you disagree, of course, feel free to send comments and Q&A. So we hear all of you. 
Okay, a lot of hearts. That gives me the indication that we are ready to get started. So I want to first ask the question to you. How do you make sure your students or maybe audience, I know that not all of you are lecturers, how are you engaged? Uh, how do you make sure that students are engaged when you're presenting? This doesn't have to be with any tool or anything. This is just what I want to understand is your ways of dealing with that. What are the best practices that you apply in your classes? Asking questions seems to be the common thing already. Okay. Uh, already first three of you have said the same thing. Number of answers versus number of students. I agree that is also something I'm trying to measure all the time by checking right hand side how many of you have answered. Keep on surprising them. Nice conversation, assignments. Okay, asking questions <laughs> seems like the theme and I'm happy now today because Menti is the true place where you can ask a lot of different questions to your uh, students. Use Menti or similar tool. Nice share with us what other tools you're using what other practices you have we're happy to happy to hear facial expressions and body language seems to be going on in the chat <laughs> let's let's send them over menti as well because i want to exemplify a best practice for you here now so i will need your answers in the menti presentation as well if I can get two more responses, I promise I will give you, I will teach you something very cool in Menti. <laughs> so please keep them coming. In the meantime, I can see I have a question. Will you show us from the beginning how the presentation look like, how to send the questions? Yes, I actually was going to ask you towards the end if you would like to see that. So get ready for that. Uh, but for sure, we will do that. Okay, thank you for sharing more. As you see, the surprise have already come in as we had more than 10 responses. So together with AI, I wanna get help and I wanna understand what is the common theme here because sometimes when you have a lot of input from your audience, it may be hard to grasp the main idea, take the key takeaways. So as my mentee is recommending here, I will press space and see what are the common themes here from you. As we have already seen, asking questions seems to be the one theme, one strategy here, student participation and interactive tools as well. As you see, with just one click, it's been so easy for me to group and ungroup and get the, get the common theme. And of course, if I want to go in, I can also see what are the other uh, inputs under this uh, kind of umbrella. And if I want to change them or not, it is very much possible to edit them too, to add a new group too. Perfect, but thanks a lot for sharing your thoughts and giving me some indication and learn from you. And if you ask me what I do to help the professors engage students, I recommend them to use Menti, of course. And what Menti is, is basically it's a platform to gather input, visualize it in real time uh, in a very visually appealing way. I hear it a lot from other professors. One of the reasons also why they want to continue with Menti. And it is also possible to save and share these insights so that you can actually reflect, discuss with your colleagues and improve also on your teaching as well and address student questions even more. What we want to do, we want to support you in, of course, active learning, leveraging student insights as I'm doing right now, and really make sure that not only the loudest voice in the class is being heard, but everyone in an equal way. As it is anonymous also, you will get a lot of quality responses for, from your students. So what is in it for you as an educator? Two important things. Of course, we know that you want to improve learning outcomes while making sure that students are satisfied and they are engaged in the class. So happy to share this with you and I'm hoping this will give you an inspiration. Like the University of York, we have been working for long years. I have attached a quite nice story with them. So if you click on this pink text here, you will have access to it. But what I wanna yeah, share from that story is that they are utilizing Mentimeter as a campus with students, with all staff, academics. And what they have shared is that 97 of them found it very easy to get started with Menti. 
and they have actually uh, provided a lot of value for their students when it comes to their satisfaction in the class and learning as well. But more to read in that story, please make sure that you click on the on the story and save it for later to share across. The link doesn't work. Let me click. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, what we can do is if we write like this, you will be able to have the story. So I can go to the chat and send it to you. Probably I made some human error while linking it. Thank you so much for sharing. So you have the link here. As you can see with Mentimeter, everything is very access accessible. So you can always check our help center. Cool, can I see more thumbs up to, to see that you are interested in this story or you have saved it already? Amazing, thanks for the input. But then let's talk about some strategies, how you can engage and increase the participation. One first rule of thumb is, of course, in the beginning of the class, we make sure that we capture the attention and we make the students interested. And one way of doing so is starting with an icebreaker. And this is the icebreaker I realized the most famous one amongst my, uh, yeah, the, t the lectures I'm working with. So I thought, why not share that with you as well? Maybe you will find it useful too. So we have an image here for you to pin, and I'm very curious. Also, it's an early morning, at least in Stockholm. So I think it's very relevant to ask, what is your ideal toast color? Okay, quite diverse responses so far, but we are, we are more, I, I guess, in this side. Uh, you make it, you make a good, uh, you, you like a good roasted uh, bread, I feel. Cool, pins are coming in uh, as you can, I hope experience, it's very easy to pin a place and kind of F6. Okay, that's a new way of responding to an <laughs> pin on image. Is this icebreaker generated by AI? It is not, it is <laughs> generated by me actually. Um, but you can, of course, we are working on uh, implementing AI more in Mentimeter. So for sure, very soon, if you follow us, it will be very possible. Cool, a lot of different responses. Someone doesn't, <laughs> just likes it uh, very wide, I see. So that also works. Uh, good to have all of, your, all of your input here. Good breakfast team, I would say. Let's move on. Of course, you can also ask this question to your students directly if they are keeping up with the course or not. Since it is anonymous, you will get the real, real answer from your students. I know from my students' years, it was not always easy to say <laughs> the honest feeling I had in class. So this is this makes it much easier, uh, as I don't know who said what, but I actually understand as I see four of you or five even not feeling sure about if they are keeping up with the course or not. So if I know this information in the next one, I can ask actually why in an open-ended form and really address everything that is unclear in the class. Then if they are feeling unsure, then I can, of course, encourage them to ask their questions through Q&A. Once again, you can also try now, go to Q&A and ask me a random question, for example. Uh, then as a lecturer, as a presenter, I will be able to identify the areas where should I focus more. Once again, they can also upvote other students' questions and they can see, oh yeah, my classmates ask the same, I'm curious on the same, so I will ask the question. Cool, how are we going with the pace? Send me a heart if the pace is all right for you. If you are finding it useful, send me the heart reaction. Okay, I get a positive response. Perfect, once again, I will just leave the QR code, making sure that you are here with me and engaging throughout the presentation. We have a question. How do you make the toast quiz? It's hard to be with the phone and computer at the same time. I can definitely understand that. Uh, I, I will try to make sure that I'm on the good pace. So we make sure that you have enough time on the phone and on the computer uh, too. 
on the on the phone i just recommend just submit your uh question and then you can focus on the presentation on the computer i hope that will make it easier the toast quiz i just took a picture online and then i have opened up the question type pinout image on menti app so then i just inserted that image and that was ready to present uh to you to pin so pin on image slide type, you should check out. Do you keep Mentimeter open all the time along with your class slides? Uh, what I do is I integrate Mentimeter with my slide, uh, class slides. So I import my uh, class studies already in Menti so that I can have everything in one place. Or if I want the other way around, I can also integrate Mentimeter in PowerPoint, for example. That is also possible. Thank you for really good questions. All right, then another strategy I wanna share with you is to how to create a dialogue, not a monologue in the class, and also make sure that the interest levels are high, which will help students to retain the information uh, even more. For example, uh, a very good, uh, how to say, partner of mine <laughs> who is a lecturer for long years, this is her best practice on making sure that she she understands the expectations from this class because most often the time it could happen that students have a different expectations and maybe this class is about something else so it is really a good practice to identify that from the beginning and mentimeter will help you uh doing so in a question type called open ended you can just send me random uh text here as well just to exemplify uh the question Learn how to use this tool. <laughs> Perfect. I hope you are getting there. Learn features of Menti. You can send me a comment if you already learned something new. So as a presenter, I will be happy and continue giving you something new as well. So send me a comment if you learned something new already. Learning so much today. Happy to hear. Let's check some questions in the meantime. We can have a look at that in the end how to integrate Menti with PowerPoint. How do the questions pop during the slides? Can I control the flow of teaching and questions? Yes. So as a presenter here, I have the full control. I'm working on my keyboard with arrows. For example, I can go back, I can go forward. And you can make sure that you are on your own pace. And as I'm doing right now, you can always try to engage with your students, understand how they are feeling with the pace, and then you can adjust. Uh, there are a lot of comments I see. Please send the questions on the Q&A and then it will be easier for me to address the questions. So after you ask for the expectations from the class, it is also a good practice for you to actually ask about their knowledge in relevant topics. Uh, it really helps you prioritize what is most needed by the class and you make the, you make the decision based on their current uh, levels in different topics. It may be a class that you want to talk about different things, but maybe you're uh, uh, not very familiar with your class yet. Maybe it's in the beginning of the semester. And then by asking a very easy question, you can gather all the thoughts and reflections from class in, I guess, one minute. <laughs> um, and then you see which area you should actually invest more time on. As we see here, momentum seems to be the area that maybe we need more time or rather prioritize that in the class. Perfect. Thanks for engaging. I don't know if they are highlighting the real knowledge of yours or not, but yeah. As a theme, again, momentum is <laughs> the last one. So let's make, make sure that we cover that uh, well. I see one question. So it's a good time to take that. Oh yeah, this was the question I didn't uh, answer yet. Let's make sure we spend some time on that in the end. Perfect. Then let's say that you addressed everything in class. You talked about a lot of things, but you want to make sure that the knowledge retains and then students are also having fun through some gamification. So it's a quiz time and it's 
once again, it's a perfect exit ticket also for you in your classes. I highly recommend. So please get ready. And if you are not in Menti, make sure that you're in because you're in for a treat. It's a good competition. I promise. I have two questions, nothing big, but I want to ensure that you get the full uh, picture of Menti with the quiz side as well. Okay, so you can choose to just join with the name that is <laughs> assigned to you. A lot of competitive people are very nice. We in Menti are very competitive as well. So I guess we are a good match here. Uh, you can change the name of the icon if you want. They are just randomly assigned. Otherwise, just click and you're in to compete. It's crazy. Now I have higher participation because it's <laughs> there's a game here and it's a quiz. I love to I love to see that. I think in class probably it would be similar when there's a competition. Once again, if you want, you can make sure that your students are joining the quiz anonymously, or you can also make sure that they write their names. And if you want to use it for evaluation, you can do that too. So many of you are ready, so I think it's time to go. Question one of two. Get ready to be fast. Also, you will get more points. When do you think Mentimeter was founded? 2007, 2014 or 2020. Let's see, uh, we have a lot of experienced Menti users, but let's see how much you know about the background of, of Mentimeter as an organization. Wow, I am impressed. <laughs> Very well done. Um, yeah, 13 of you got it right. Well done. So for those of you who didn't get it right, let's have a check where you're at because you have one more chance to, to win this quiz. Okay, a lot of you, okay, it's a tie for now. Let's see if we can change that. Okay, last question. This time you need to write something. So get your keyboard ready for that. More about Menti. So where is Mentimeter's HQ located? I have given you some hint, I think in the beginning, if you remember, if not, you have 15 minutes or seconds, sorry, not minutes for sure, to, to guess. As you see, some students are sending copy, so I want to disable that so that no one is sending a command. That is also very quick for you as a teacher to fix that situation too. Nice. The correct answer was Stockholm or Sweden. I accepted all. So as you see, we have quite good right answers. And then, of course, some of you didn't get it right, but I hope now, now you know. One good practice with this type of quiz is that we know that there might be typos or like other answers that you wanna take it as correct. So if you want, for example, you could also make it correct. Make sure that you give, like you make the evaluation as right as possible. But I am not going to give this point <laughs> to the person who said Holland. Sorry, next time I hope you will win. And the winner is, let's see, who is the winner? A lot of you are winners. So I guess it's a, it's a win for all of you. So well done. Awesome job, every one of you. And I hope you enjoyed the quiz. I will enable the comments here again, making sure that you send me some excitement. One of the last practices I want to talk about today is how do you evaluate student satisfaction uh, as of your teaching, making sure that students are satisfied, engaged, and they're actually improving learning. So how do we do that? Again, asking questions, as you already said, it's the best practice. We will ask a question again in a different form, this time a question type called scales. So for me in this session, there are three important areas that I want to focus on. Is it if you learned something new, if you had fun, and if your questions were answered. So let's see how are we doing. And you can send random points as well. This is just to represent the, the class. As the questions, as the uh, responses are coming in, I can see that on an average four points, we have learned something new. And I can also hover over so to see the distribution as well. But I know that 
I am running this class for many times and I want to keep the, the success I have in the class. So what I would do is I would just reset the results so I can actually see the, 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 the responses again from the same group of uh, students. So for example, let's say this is the class second and I'm redoing it again and I'm seeing what the, what the results are. And let's say week three, I just want to do it again because I want to measure myself also as the presenter, how I am, how I am doing over time. So if I want to do that, I will hover over to the left and I will let Mentimeter do the magic to show me the trends, how I am doing in the class. As you see, I have uh, some trends here going on. As you see, I have had three sessions over time and I have evaluated myself towards the same uh, variables that I have. So one was if, if my students learned something new and I can see that over time I had some change in performance. I started with 3.5, I had a bit of a decrease. Wonder what I have done. I can also maybe address that with my students. And then maybe after I have addressed that with my students through Menti, I have seen an increase uh, and I see that the performance has increased. So over time, I can really reflect and get better uh, in my teaching and my students hopefully get a better um, satisfaction from the class too. Once again, you have two kind of two buttons here to work on. On the left hand side, you just reset results and show trends. These are the two things you need to know on this one. Cool. I will do a quick poll here to understand and also to show you how you can do it quickly. I want to have a cat. So send me a cat emoji if this feels like something you can use in your classes or in your teaching. Okay, thumbs up are also coming in. Yes, we have one AI feature, the one I told you or showed you before, how you can group on open-ended question type. So this will be in the recording. Otherwise, now we are working on making sure that AI will help us creating mentees already based on our, the input we give. And it is going to be very soon. So stay tuned and follow us for more information, of course. Eight cats. So eight of you will use it for sure. So I'm happy to hear that. We are coming to the end. Uh, I want to make sure that you send your questions via Q&A. I already see that we have three questions. Now it will be time to address those questions. Make sure that uh, everything is answered and hopefully you will uh, leave this session uh, more satisfied. Please continue sending them. Yes, we are moving to the practical part. Uh, so I will mark it as answered. Can you add questions instantly during the lecture? I think we will also address that now. I was going to ask you this, but I understand that you're already interested. So you can answer already, but I will show you anyways. So when you go into Mentimeter, when you log into your account, this is what you, what you see. You have your homepage, you have your new presentations, and you have you can create folders, for example, it is uh, very intuitive in that sense where you keep your presentations. So when you click on creating a new presentation, let's see where we are heading to. As you see, once you click, first thing you will see is to get some help from Mentimeter. You can already have uh, templates. I have an account that is for businesses. So that is why I'm seeing business related templates. But for you, since you will be registered as an educator in this case, you will see a lot of more relevant, uh, relevant uh, templates, more about quizzes or like fun things in the class or knowledge assessment, et cetera, et cetera. If I want, I can click uh, one of them and start like that. But now I want to show you how it would look from the beginning. So this is my basically a mentee from scratch. I can name this presentation, for example, as Merve. And this is the part where I will actually uh, add a slide. So here, as you can see, most importantly, we have the interactive slides where you can ask a lot of questions to your students and address uh, their questions. 
and then you will see the quiz competition. This will be a specific group as this will include the competition as we have just went through. Then of course, Menti is not only a polling tool, but it's a true engagement platform. For that, we wanna ensure that you have content slides too. So in the content slides, you can see we have heading, paragraph, a lot of different stuff. Let's start with the heading. And then when I click on a slide type, there are three things I need to work on. One is the content, building the information that I have. Let's start with them. Maybe I will just say, well, to Mentimeter. Then I'm ready with the content of my slide. Or maybe I just want to add an image. So I can add something from my computer. I can add something from the library that Mentimeter has, or even some more fun stuff. But let's say I want to have a welcome. And then I will wait my internet to, to work. Perfect. Here we are. So now, as I said, I am done with the content part of my presentation or my slide here. So then the second is to make it a bit more visually uh, appealing, of course. Then I can actually choose different layouts here. Maybe I will choose this one. And I am always, uh, I am also high attention to detail, but I will skip that today. I will not make it as pretty as possible. Then I will move on to interactivity part. In the interactivity part, I will decide how do I want my students to engage with me. Maybe I want to add certain reactions per slide. So you can change that per slide, uh, how it works, whatever it works for you. And then you can also choose on the top Q&A, for example, if you turn that on, you can actually let your students ask you a question. So as you can see here now on the right-hand side, I have the Q&A uh, image as well. Then if I wanna have a live chat, like comments as you were sending today, I can also enable that too. So Q&A and comments will be for the full presentation, but then when it comes to reactions, you will design it as per uh, slide. Then after having the heading slide here, I can go and maybe choose another uh, interactive slide. Maybe I will ask my students how they are feeling today. Once again, first I am filling my contents boxes. So basically everything is ready for me. I just need to write the information that I need. Again, if I want, I can add an image here. Very much, uh, you, have, you have freedom to choose wherever you want it from. Then you go to the design and in the design, again, you can do a lot of changes. For every question type we have, there are different functionalities. So I highly recommend you all the time when you choose a question, make sure that you go through the content until the end, you go through the design, and then of course you have the interactivity if you want to. I will go back and see if I have gotten more questions and also you can send me uh, more questions and comments in regards to if there's something missing how does mentimeter work with right to left languages like hebrew i i know you can write text but what about the whole uh, framework uh, yes you can write obviously you can just copy paste your your text uh, but I'm unsure what exactly you mean about the whole framework. If you can give me more details around it, I can get uh, back to you. How can you see the overview of all activities at the session? Perfect. This connects me to my next uh, functionality. So let's say that I have prepared this presentation and I have presented to my audience like this one, for example. In the end of the class, I have a lot of information from my students, questions asked, questions responded. So I wanna make sure that I have a look back and save them. As you see on the right-hand side, I have a quick button where it says results. So I will click on the results and then I will get a big, big, big summary from Mentimeter. As you can see, participation rate is highlighted. How many of my students have participated on an average? 
and how many of them have gotten the quiz right and how many questions they asked me today. As you can see, my students have asked me a lot of questions today and I wanna make sure that I have addressed all of them. If I want the statistics on a more detailed level, always possible to export uh, the Excel or as a PDF too, with the answers in it. So you can refer back and share across uh, your colleagues maybe, or for yourself. Also possible for each question, you can actually make an analysis where you get the higher interest from the students. And maybe for next time, it's a learning for you that you wanna repeat that and replicate that practice uh, and best practice for, for your classes. We can see number of participants and the participation rate per question. The quiz leaders, if you wanna make an evaluation, it is also possible. You can see who have uh, won. And my favorite part, uh, and I know for a lot of lecturers too, to kind of collect those questions that were asked. So I know what questions were asked by my students and I can make sure that I address them in the best way possible. I can also see for myself, for example, I have answered this question in the class, but the second one, uh, I have not. How to integrate Metimeter into PowerPoint. So I know that that is an action point uh, for me to address. And then of course I can see all the questions asked. It is, this is very practical uh, to improve your classes too. Lastly, you can take screenshots, of course, with the answers in it. Maybe you want to present one, one question to the, to the university board or to other students. You can also do that uh, with the answers in it, for example, as you can see here. Let's go back to the presentation. So these were the results. I will go back to this part and see I have nine minutes. So I mark this as answered. Can I import and export the slides from Mentimeter to PowerPoint if I want the content slide with PPT options? I will show this. What features we have in the free mode? So free mode is very limited. And one limitation is that you cannot present more than to more than 50 audience members in a month. So uh, it is on that side, on that sense is a bit limited. So you probably might not be able to present in more than one class with Mentimeter if you're on the free mode. And you can also not export these results that you have and also not import other uh, other materials. Uh, but we have more uh, details on our website as well. Uh, you can have a look, but these are the most important that you should know for now. Can the students always see the results or can I ask a question that I only see the results? You can always hide the results. If I go back, there's a functionality in Mentimeter called hide results. Let's say, for example, this one. If I press H now on my keyboard, I can hide and I, I can also avoid biases in the class as well in this way, if I want to. Pressing H will like not reveal the results, but students will still be able to vote. And then by pressing H again, I will make sure that I can uh, show it to my class. Mark is answered. Okay, I think I wanna focus on the PowerPoint now because it has asked a lot. Mer excuse me. Can you um, show again how you um, see the, the results? Yes. So yeah. as you see, I'm in the presentation now. And here on the right hand side, I have a quick button that is called results. So I will just click on the results and I will have access to everything I've shown. Does that help? Yeah, thank you. I think Mirav, Mirav, is it okay? Thank you, Mirav, yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay. Of course, yes. thanks for checking again. So with PowerPoint, you have two ways. One is to have your PowerPoint slides in Mentimeter. So you can uh, go here and click on import. So as you see, now I have the direction to browse some files. And I already have my boring PowerPoint example here, which I can import. So as you see, it's taking a few seconds just to import everything I have in Mentimeter. 
maybe more than a few seconds if I don't have a good internet connection. Let's wait. All right, hooray. My slides are imported. As you can see, my PowerPoint is gone to the end and I have just imported everything successfully. Good to, good to keep in mind, this will be like images when you import them, but it's possible to move them around, make it more diverse with your presentation. And the favorite part is after you import, you can actually make sure that there are questions attached to it. So for example, now I am maybe just presenting, a, a, as I said, a boring PowerPoint, I can still get questions from my, from my class and we can utilize the PowerPoint in this way as well. Nice, and then I will also show you how you can add a menti question into PowerPoint too. This is a way if you if you wanna work on the PowerPoint, but just add other uh, other menti questions. So I will just open my main uh, PowerPoint example and share my whole screen with you. Let's see. I just realized my PowerPoint is not. Uh, I will actually show it to you on the help center. I think it will be easier. Can we have a Can we have a question? Maybe yes, in between. Please. Uh, two questions. One of them is the first one is: um, uh, Is there any way to integrate Mintimeter into the LMS? Yes. That means uh, maybe LTI or something like that. Exactly. We have the embed link in, mm -hmm. in Mentimeter. When you click on share, mm -hmm. you can actually embed live results into your LMS system. So if you copy this code, then you can work with the HTML code to embed that to your LMS system. Good. Thank you. And the other question is, most of the or you you most of the um, option that you show was an anonym. Yes. Anonym. Yeah. Yes. There is any way to evaluate the students with Mintimeter? That means to have statistics and to have um, uh, absolutely sort of evaluation part of the evaluation process that teacher absolutely. needs for the students. Absolutely, I have two recommendations. Mm -hmm. Either you can make it unanonymous with quiz, as I showed you in the quiz. If you tell your students, they should write their name. That should be one way for you to evaluate the knowledge. The second way is to utilize another slide type that is called uh, quick um, quick slides, quick form. Yes, I always uh, confuse the name. So if you click on the quick form here, you open up a form to collect input. So maybe if you want in the beginning of the class, you have this form and you collect the names, email address, whatever the information that you want from your class, as you can see here, then when you download the results, so in the class, this won't be visible to everyone, but when you download the results, you can actually follow uh, which students said what, basically. Thank you. There is another yes. question from Shmuel, maybe, in, in between. Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. You hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, I want uh, to ask you uh, how using in a uh, multimeter uh, can support uh, uh, improvement uh, uh, studying uh, uh, skills uh, of uh, students uh, from uh, poor and uh, low income uh, groups uh, of uh, population mm -hmm. yeah thank you thank, thank you, you. For Thank you for asking. Of course, we are aware that Mentimeter requires uh, a tool for you to engage. And um, we have a lot of universities who are making sure that their students have access, access to that. And yeah, we are supporting them also, making sure that you have, they have this possibility. Uh, and also one part is, of course, as Mentimeter enables uh, answers from or like input from all, uh, all students, uh, in an anonymous way, everyone have the same chance. So not because I am more maybe confident in the class that I'm going to ask or address, but more that I have the tool and then I will make sure that my voice is uh, heard equally as everyone else. 
And of course, we are investing more on this as we are becoming more and more focused in higher education. So more updates to come. And we are always happy to hear your input as well, how we can help you with that too. And we also personally invest in a lot of training that we do. Uh, like one of the things that Mentimeter does is that we are spread across the world in terms of like, you know, which time location. We have an office in Toronto, in Stockholm, and in Sydney. So we are available to train the students and teachers as much as the university requires. So one of the things that we are working very hard on, especially in the today's world where the world is very hybrid, like, you know, you don't, everybody does not sit in the same place and work or even the classrooms. What we do is our goal is also to make the students very, very good at becoming great presenters. And this does not uh, ideally uh, mean only to the students who are privileged. This is for students who come across from all different parts of the society. So we provide a skill and we train the students in this particular skill for no extra cost. And this is completely within the cost that you pay for the license. So it comes as a part of the whole package. Does that answer your question, Nashwar? Yeah, of course. Uh, thank you very much. Last question. If you want to share this presentation, what you need to do is you copy this URL link and you share it with your students. So I guess we have answered all your questions for the day. That was it from me. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Just in the end, I have some resource resources for you here. I will share this presentation with Ashwin so he can make sure that it reaches you. You can take a lot of inspiration. You can reach out to us, making sure that we address every questions that you have. Otherwise, feel free to know that you have a lot of different resources for yourself. And we also want to sign off by quickly saying, um, apart from everything that Marve has shown over here, we also have a 24-7 customer support uh, that you guys have. So you don't have to worry about knowing everything immediately. Like you can reach out to us. There are people who will help you train, help you understand as you're doing the presentations as well. As I said, we are available throughout the time. So if tomorrow is your presentation and you need help today, we are here to help you out uh, to get, get things moving. So I think that is where we can add a lot more value. Like uh, we had spoken with Anath a lot. Anybody can give you a tool. Uh, but I think where we can help you guys a lot is where we can support you throughout the time. And we have the resources to uh, do that, um, considering that we are putting a lot of focus and attention on uh, higher education right now. Just to add to that a sentence that we have the consortium agreement with METAL. And uh, that means you can, we have agreement that you can use all your institute, higher education institute can use. And we have a very good collaboration with uh, Ashwell and of course uh, Mintimeter and all the people there. And so if you like to use it in um, in um, um, so, uh, institutional um, consortium agreement, then you're more than welcome to contact Anat. So that was one of the reason to bring this to the beginning of this series of uh, um, meetings. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So as to all of you who have participated, the results, the results, and the comments will be added to the day of the meeting. Thank you. 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 Thank you.